Ryan Garcia is an up-and-coming young boxer with blazing fast hands. As a pro, he's amassed a string of exciting KOs at the age of 19. One of the things that makes Garcia interesting is that he discards a lot of tried-and-true defensive techniques. But, because Garcia is winning because of these modifications, not in spite of them, I feel he's a great example to look at what happens when a fighter successfully emphasizes one aspect of their game over all others. After all, while most people can get decent speed drilling against bags and pads in order to build up accuracy, or just to show off, very few are able to keep these body mechanics and find success in the ring. Put simply, Ryan Garcia is what happens when every component of your punch is geared towards speed and ignores every other aspect. Now of course Ryan has above average reflexes and most likely possesses a lot of fast twitch muscle fibers, making him naturally speedy. But his punching style is also drastically different from the majority of professional boxers, and a lot of that relates to ease of movement, something very similar to economy of motion. For instance, Garcia keeps his shoulders low and his chin untucked. It should be fairly obvious that this is not defensively ideal. However, it does put the body in a more balanced position to throw more fluid, relaxed punches. The less you need to disturb your balance or posture, the easier it will be to chain your punches together. This can result in a decrease in momentum overall as you're moving less weight over less distance, but it will get your punch to its target faster. And if you're fast enough, the increased speed will make up for some of that lost weight transfer. Oftentimes it's not who lands the hardest punch, but who gets there first. Although keep in mind, that's not always the case. In line with these principles, Garcia's body movement is highly simplistic. Although Garcia will throw somewhat wide hooks, his shoulders don't elevate very much, his hips turn minimally, and he rarely sits or leans into his punches. Taken to its extreme, these minimalistic principles result in styles like Wing Chun, where punches are specifically designed to connect before your opponents and fire off at a faster rate. Along with this very open posture, Garcia also keeps his lead hand low and throws from his chest. This more natural position allows a fighter to relax his muscles, keeping them loose and fast. It also lets Garcia have an entirely clear field of vision, something crucial for speed-based fighters who look to quickly take advantage of temporary openings. Garcia's philosophy seems to be to do whatever it takes to land the punch. In fact, he has such faith in his reflexes protecting him that he often uses his defensive hand to counterbalance himself like a fencer, rather than guard against potential counters. These are all huge defensive sacrifices, but thus far, Garcia has been able to count on his reflexes and his superior speed to remain relatively untouched. It should be noted that Garcia does implement a high guard and distance management to remain defensively responsible. The inherent openings these tactics cause mostly appear during exchanges, when Garcia's preference for speed leaves many openings to capitalize on. As Garcia advances, he'll most likely need to make some adjustments. Realizing when and how to make these changes will be crucial, and his success will be highly reliant on his coaches and his ability to listen to them. But Garcia seems to have a good head on his shoulders, and good instincts in the ring. And I, for one, am looking forward to catching his upcoming fights and seeing just how far this kid can go. Stay tuned for a breakdown of Canelo Alvarez and Tony Ferguson, as well as a new segment with animated techniques with Iman Rashid. Let everyone know what you think of Garcia's speed building techniques in the comment section, and suggest fighters or techniques you'd like to see broken down. You can order my book Power of the Pros in the link below, or pre-order my book Footwork Wins Fights if you'd like to take your footwork to the next level. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian. Wishing you happy training.